An urban legend is one kind of folklore, comprising stories circulated as true, especially as having happened to a friend or family member, often with horrifying or humorous elements. Regardless of their truthfulness, some urban legends are silly and light-hearted, while others may actually be quite scary, disturbing, and even have actual validity. With that said, here are five urban legends that will give you a chill in the spine. Number 5. Colorado Riverdale Road An 11-mile-long thoroughfare connecting Thornton to Brighton is home to urban legends of hauntings and phantom joggers. Riverdale Road's reputation as the most haunted road in the USA comes from a handful of stories passed down over the years. The road is home to so-called Joggers Hill, where the ghost of a murdered jogger is rumored to follow cars and tap on their sides. The other urban legends involve the phantom Camaro with one headlight the hitchhiker in white who disappears into the night. It has become the subject of many blogs, YouTube videos, and even local TV news segments on the paranormal. They claim that while traveling down the road during a full moon, one can see the hanging bodies of slaves on the trees. It all started with the story that yields the most intrigue. It involves a mansion owner who went insane and set his home aflame with his family inside. The family perished in the fire, and the man was never seen again. The gate to hell is reportedly inside the chicken coop by that burned-down mansion. Another section of the road leads to a mansion that contained a satanic cult. There have been many fatal crashes on the roadway, and driving through it gives a distressing experience. Number 4. The Chilling Story of Beijing's Last Bus to Fragrant Hills Like so many urban legends, this one begins on a dark and stormy night. While there are more than a few variations on the story, like what number the route was and what time of the year, but according to Wang Yu, the story goes like this. On a dark night in 1995, a young man stepped onto the last bus heading to Fragrant Hills, Hadian District. Soon the driver saw two people on the side of the road trying to stop the bus and get on. At first, the driver was reluctant since they were not waiting at a bus stop. But the kind-hearted conductor put in some good words, saying it was already the last bus, so the driver let them in. The other passengers took a look and were surprised to see the two people were in officials' robes of the ancient Qing dynasty, and they supported a third person by the arms, whose hair was hanging loose. Their faces were much whiter than a normal person's, and they didn't say anything. The other passengers looked on nervously. The conductor soothed people by saying they were probably actors who had no time to change costumes. Gradually the bus emptied as passengers got off the bus, until only the young man and an old lady remained. Suddenly, the old lady claimed her wallet was missing and that the young man was the thief. The two entered a fierce argument, which ended in the old lady insisting they get off the bus right away and head to the nearest police station to settle the matter. As the bus drove off, the young man became enraged when he saw no police station in sight. Then the old lady said, I saved your life, young man. Those who just got on the bus were ghosts, not humans. The young man was not believing in any of this, and the old lady said, the breeze coming in from the window lifted their robes, and I saw they didn't have feet. The next day, the last Xiang Shan-bound bus was reported missing, and was later found miles away from its destination with three heavily rotted bodies, the drivers, the conductors, and one unknown body with long, messy hair. Number 3. The Indian Village of Kolhara Kolhara is an abandoned village in the Jaisalmer district of Rajasthan, India. Established around the 13th century, the village used to be a prosperous village of Paliwal Brahmins. It is famous as the village seemingly abandoned overnight and no one knows why. According to the legend, the evil eyes of Salam Singh, the powerful and debauched prime minister of the state, fell on the daughter of the village head and he desired to marry her by force. He threatened the village with grave consequences if they did not adhere to his wish. Instead of submitting to the order of the tyrant, the Paliwals held a council, and people of 85 villages left their ancestral homes and vanished. But this was not all. Before leaving, the village chief cursed the abandoned village in a way that anyone who tried to inhabit it would die. To this date, the village remains barren, left almost the same as its inhabitants had left it centuries ago. It is also said that people who have tried to stay there at night have been chased away by strange paranormal phenomenon. The Indian Paranormal Society spent a night there and reported disembodied whispers, screams, noises are common at dark hours. 
Many of our members have witnessed apparitions, heard footsteps, experienced unusual touch and so on. Although there are a few eerie theories, visiting the village is only something the brave would try, and staying the night is at one's own risk. Number 2. The Night Marchers of Hawaii Passed down for many generations, Hawaiian legends and myths continue to fascinate local Hawaiians and visitors to the islands even today. Among the most well-known is that of the Night Marchers. According to the legend, Night Marchers, or Huakaipo in Hawaiian, are the spirits of former ancient Hawaiian warriors who were the vanguard for sacred king, chief or chiefess. These sacred kings and chiefs were so sacred that commoners were not allowed to look at them. If they did, they would be killed. Today, their spirits are said to roam various areas on the islands, many of which were once great battlefields. They appear as ghostly apparitions who carry torches and play the drums while they chant. Long before you see the night marchers, you will hear them. First comes the ominous, deep thudding of war drums. Then, you hear guttural chanting and spine-tingling blasts from a conch shell. A stench of death might assault your nose. Finally, you may see a succession of torches winding their way toward you in the darkness. These warriors are believed to be eternally fated to march the islands seeking their next battle. They are most active at night, but also have been reported to be seen during the day. No structure deters their path, and as a result, they are often seen walking right through buildings. If you come across the night marchers in a procession, it's advised not to interrupt them. Looking directly at a night marcher will result in being marked for death. If you do happen to find yourself in the middle of a procession, you are supposed to lie down in the middle of the road in order to show respect. Number 1. The Doll from Hikado the list of urban legends is incomplete without a tale from Japan, and when combined with a haunted doll, it reaches to a different level. The story of a haunted doll takes many forms, but the most popular in Japan is that of the Akaku doll, which is named after its owner. The doll was bought in Hikado in 1918 by a 17-year-old boy, Aikichi Suzuki, for his three-year-old sister called Kikyuko, also called Kyoko in other tellings. It is said she loved her new doll so much that she would take it everywhere with her, even sleeping with it in her bed. The doll had an Akepa hairstyle, common in traditional Japanese dolls. The hair is cropped at around jawline length and has a short fringe over the forehead. Tragically, Kikuko died a sudden death the following year after catching a cold. The family kept the doll at the household shrine for remembrance and prayed to it. They called the doll Akaku after the child they lost. Slowly, they started to notice something strange. The doll's hair was gradually growing longer. Even after cutting it, the hair kept growing back. This was taken as a sign that the doll was possessed by the girl's restless spirit. Kikuko's father gave the doll to Mainenji Temple in Uemizawa City, Hokkaido. There it can be visited to this day, but photography is not allowed. It is said that even a scientific examination of Akaku confirmed that the hair was that of a human child. Now the doll displayed at the temple has hair down to its knees and it supposedly continues to grow even after periodical trims. Who would be brave enough to give Akaku a haircut? Apparently, a priest of the temple had a dream conveying that this was the doll's wish and generally what haunted dolls want, haunted dolls get. Some urban legends may be completely plausible while others may have supernatural elements that make them less believable or clearly not true. Either way, their truthfulness is always questionable and difficult to disprove. It is up to you how you take it. Have fun sharing them though. We hope you enjoyed learning the tales as much we did in presenting them. Let us know in the comment if these frightened you and what is your favorite urban legend overall. Stay curious, stay informed. If the video has helped you in any sort, please give it a thumbs up. To not miss out on any of the future videos of Inform Nation, do subscribe.